Hey, 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 welcome back to Drake's Games. He will be doing scratch stuff, yes. Well, hello guys, and I am going to be showing you my 3D level editor, which is already finished and shared so you guys can play it. So let's start with some gameplay. So I'll show you this pre-made level that I did, let's say, I think three days ago, yeah. So I can walk around, I can do things, I can use my big baguette to slap things. And I've got collisions and I'll show you in a while, so let me start. So here are the two basic enemies, which are the small triangle and the big purple triangle, which um, just easily kill here. Purple one has 3 HP, small one has 1 HP. These are progress tiles, which are actually not in the tile selection, so you can't place them. Only in this pre-made level you can get it. So more enemy tiles. This is a level that I copy it and paste parts of it together. I mean that's what I usually do for make levels. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and kill these boys. Some of the of these are still not done. Like the the right progress tile is not done yet, so I will just continue explaining this stuff now. So I'll go down here. Uh, progress piles are placed in patches, like clumps of them. So you can move around freely. So if you notice, there's no up progress tile. Although I did want to add it, but then I didn't. So yeah, because why would you want to go back to where you came? It's so going down, we're nearly nearing the end of the level. So there's more enemies to fight here. You can jump too, I forgot to mention, but Jumping at the top of the screen just squashes you guys with a pancake. Cause actually all the parts of him are just the uh, clones at different costumes. So I'll hit down down here and L or end the level. Okay. So now let me get started with explaining the code like actually. So here, this is the level. I hide it first. Every one of these walk to walk and idle are actually frames of this animation. So to show you where I got it, this is my own one actually. So a scene here, this is my one. All these which are yeah this is the first thing where I got the 3D model from. It's my own 3D model. It's really simple and easy to make. Don't mind the cringe recording. So it's supposed to catch your own toilet before it hits the edge or you just get OOF Yeah. Don't look at my other stuff. Privacy please. Okay, so now we have this, the idol has a lot of code in it. All of which is just for the up down sensing. Had to use variables because clones can't receive messages. In this is the player for the animation. Size is the frame of each animation. And if size bigger than 2, switches the animation back to 1. So that means it goes in a loop and you don't get stuck on a certain animation frame for too long. So this, uh, I had to hard code every bit of this. Took a really long time, so yeah. All, every... Where is the thing that lets me see the animation frame? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, the code is pretty messy because I actually don't bother solving code. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna throw this in here, what's done is done. Cause, you know, a lot of stuff is repeated across every sprite cause you need it. Like, uh, I still can't find that piece of code. Yeah, maybe never mind. Alright, so another thing is... There's this variable called toilet check. Toilet check is, pr you know, I used it from the engine and didn't bother changing the variable name. So toilet check starts the thing so your clone doesn't split apart and fly everywhere. Cause each clone actually has a delay between when it spawns. So next we have the hitbox. This controls all the collisions and almost everything in here. Mostly the collisions. So for example, if I was to place the wall here, to walk into it, the hitbox actually controls if I touch the wall or not. Because previously I tried without a hitbox and uh, the guy just flew to p flew into pieces. So this back controls if the guy moves backwards 
and it applies to all what all frames or sprites of the animation character so now here yeah, see when he receives back he does move back yeah like that it works for other things like that as well as rocks which i can't walk into and the enemy tile so it detects the enemy tile like this so they spawn like demo god enemies just die already okay yeah so like that he can sense uh, there's another thing he can sense this is the water tile it allows you to move forward in any direction without pressing w which is the move key so you just move forever so if you meet the entire screen of these you would never ever need to worry about pressing the w key ever again so now that i've explained the basics of the hitbox there's other stuff here so this is the tile controls the placement of the tiles i originally used uh, clones of the tile but then it didn't work so there's other things so many different things in here the tiles that you can place it's controlled by the s key there there's the enemy the basic one pretty easy when he creates a clone the hitbox is the one that detects the enemy color should be around here yeah it's this line of code yeah this one right here it broadcasts mob spawn and i'm going to be playing with that command in a while soon so here in the player has all the animations and this is mob spawn it spawns the mobs well what if we set 20 enemies the blue ones well only one way to find out just plonk that guy down okay that is a lot of enemies well wait what is am i doing Never mind. For all I know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of Illuminati's on my screen. Well, do not fret, I will murder all of them. Alright, I am done killing them. That was fast. So, here's the second enemy. Um, has 3 HP has collisions with other enemies so they don't stack big angry triangle your boy so yeah i only added two enemies but in the future maybe i'll give him an update he has three hp when he touches the the color of the sword which is orange he died he takes minus one hp oh yeah i also have this snipe which i showed you just now it comes for a while like you see here amen boop yep I'll also get a hit from a distance. But now I'll be probably gonna be messing around with stuff. There's also an XP, which when you kill them, you get random amount of XP. It differs from enemies. The blue one drops less, but the, the pink one drops more. So back here in Idle, we have stuff. So object is the mouse pointer. Because he always points to mouse pointer. And so to keep them all orientated towards the mouse pointer without them like just splitting apart, like rotating in different places. So they all point in direction object and they do not point in direction mouse pointer. If you're using the layering technique for this, it's um, pretty useful. So do try to do that. So next on, we have more stuff. Yeah, more stuff. So in here, in tile, I will place the tiles. You actually don't have to place tiles to walk with them. It's just, it looks nicer, so that's why. So a lot of water tiles here. Yeah, if you're Minecraft, you probably know what that was. Yeah, so never mind. Here back in the hitbox. Let me save and expand first. I will build myself out a small test arena. Oh, so yeah. I'm building this thingy in the walls where I just accidentally sniped. The keys are placed so close to each other. I mean like the control keys. 
Well, I made a mistake, but never mind. So I'll go put a few flowers around just for decoration. Oh god, there's a lot of mobs. Well, I guess I have to murder you then. Here goes nothing. Smack, smack. Oh, you guys can't reach me, eh? Eh, I will just, eh. You know what? You know that, remember that snipey thing that I had? Which is in this second gun? Yeah, this one. This is the snipe frame. It's very long. So what I'm thinking is I thickify this thing. Move him down, then I thickify it. So now I can hit more enemies. Isn't that just pure genius? Alright, boys. Oh ho. Yeah, run if you value your lives like those two. Yeah, run. See, good. Well, I guess you don't. Bye bye. Alright, so. Now we have this small place built. I'll continue building on it. There's. <sighs> I will stop the thing for now. So I this is the, the save function. I will save the image as mmm. -hmm. So it's saved in your downloads. And you go to your level storage here. Remix if you want and repost if you want to share your level. So then here you upload the costume from your downloads, which is here. Yeah, I have a lot of files on my PC, don't question it. Then afterwards, take your fill, put it to nothing, like it is. Get rid of that blue background, erase all that. And then this thing is now ready to be copied and pasted wherever you want it to be. Like, see, I put it in my preloaded level. I can shrink it down to correct size and just pluck it, plump it right there. And when I play, it'll be part of the level. Yeah. The the thingy the round thing at the bottom is the wind, so whenever I touch that it goes to the next level. Alright, so there is stuff to be done and to be explained. The level storage is pretty easy when you receive up down or right or left. You will move in that way, which is basically the level progression. In the gun, which is basically a thing goes here. So every part of his body, like the head, legs and joint, are uh, part of the 3D model as you see this part of the code, which is here. Now, yeah, I'll duplicate that just to show you the rendering. I don't know if it's gonna work because there's a lot of variables to play with. Well, you can see the thing rendering but the clones just don't show. Yeah, but you do get a quick sense of what happens, right? Later, I'll load up the level, just so you can see the thing rendering. Right now, just... Since I'm doing it in walk 2, I, have, I think I might have to do it in idle, because idle is the idle animation, and it's always the first one that shows. Duplicate you. Oh no. Trash you. And click. Okay, it doesn't seem to work just yet. But, see now here, it did render completely because of some variable and now I can build whatever I want in here yeah so I let render again so this is how it works this is from top to bot bottom to top but it works top to bottom for scratch the layering so it goes like that as you can see the layers imagine each one of those objects is a a layer in the 3D 2.5D model of your character. So now I will be doing some things. So as you know, touching the the enemy has a hitbox. It actually can come in contact with walls like these, so just build a small parameter around it. So it can jump technically jump down walls. I guess you, see, you can see here it's jumping down. Well, I have to go ahead and kill all these boys before it gets too laggy. <laughs> you can see I'm squashed down to a pancake now. Yep. Oh, why do I have two arms? Well, I'm not gonna question it, I'm just gonna be grateful about it. Look, just double shot at them. Bye. Okay, now time to mess around with more enemies. This part is gonna be fun. So, you know this, right? Give me enemy two. I want the big purple boys. 
Yeah. Now run. Okay. Oh god, that's really laggy. Run. How many times have they hit you? Oh, it's three. Why there's so many of them? Okay, half of them died. There's more there. Okay. I just want enemy now. Change that to 40 so we have more torment. Actually, 41 because there's one at the start. Yep. Okay. That is a lot of enemies. Oh god. Why am I not using my sniper? Okay, so I showed the XP variable there. So you can see how much XP I've got. Now one thing I'm going to do is link the size to the XP that he has. So you see the sword is immediately bigger because I have a lot of XP. So I'm wondering, is there a limit to how much XP and size of the sword you can get? Well, I'm just going to start killing things. I need more things to kill. <laughs> Give me more. This guy's like overly buff and macho. Yeah. Like, when you pull it out, it just instantly kills everything on the screen. Yes, perfect screenshot. Now kill all of you. Start the control now, because the only the part that can hit is the top. Well, now I'm wondering why I can change it like that. So, that's, so that is the limit. Quickly run to the corner of the screen where I can smack you all in one hit. Boy, it's time to die. Bye. Well, I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh, all of them are dead now. So if your XP is at zero, it becomes teeny weeny tiny dagger. But don't worry, you still can attack with this thing. Even if your XP is at zero, the, the size is affected. So actually the default is 13, see if I can get that, 14. Yeah, should be good. So now, I hope you enjoyed that today as video. And <laughs> remember to like and subscribe for more Scratch and Minecraft stuff. And I will see you uh, next time.